Hello, can you hear me? Ooh, hi. So excited. Thanks, Linda. I'm super excited too. Yes, hi, Sarah. Hi, fetus. Long time no see. Hi, Estee. Ooh, so many people joined. Hello. All right. I guess, oh, hi, Brenda. Nice to see you again. How's everyone Saturday? It's like so sunny. And guess what? Tomorrow it's uh, snowing. Hi, Vicky. All right. Hi. <laughs> Yay, 13 people. I guess I'm just going to be like, hi, Marika. Going to be like super on time about this. By the way, just to let you guys know, um, Instagram only has live for like an hour. Hi, Laura. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hi everyone. <laughs> so Instagram live only has live for an hour. So if this exceeds an hour, I'll try to keep it an hour because I know everyone's going to be hungry after and wanting food. So I'll try to keep this in 60 minutes. And then like, if this continues on, if the class continues on, um, feel free to just click back onto my Instagram live. Cause I'm going to start it again, but I'll try to keep it. Oh, hello. Keep it like around 60 minutes or so. Um, yeah, so I guess like I'm going to introduce my, I'm going to put my face. Can you see me guys? Hi. <laughs> I even put on makeup. So that just in case. <laughs> All right, let's start. So welcome to, um, creative nights online plant painting class because quarantine is not over. So we're going to keep ourselves entertained by being super creative. Um, so I normally host like, you know, in-person workshop. A lot of you know that already. Uh, but yeah, so today we're going to do an online class. Uh, so we're going to be drawing these awesome cactuses, eucalyptus, hi Sylvie, and this kind of plant. I have no idea what plant this is. Someone let me know. Some plant green thumb experts out there. So should we start with cactuses? Um, I'm going to answer for everyone, yes. <laughs> um, all right, so everyone, so we're going to draw these cactuses right now. Yes, uh, so we're going to need our pencil. Uh, you can just, I mean, if you feel confident, you can just draw it without a pencil, but I'm going to start with pencil. So we're going to be drawing these like kind of uh, strawberry shape looking things. But hi, Aileen, you can always draw different shapes. You can draw circles, you can draw heart shape, because I mean, like, it's a cute cactus. It doesn't have to, like, s simulate reality, right? So, but for this purpose, I'm just going to draw exactly the same as I did here. But like I said, you can always draw, like, a heart shape, you know, ah, cute. Anyway, so I know there are friends from Canada and Germany joining, maybe, maybe Spain, maybe Cecile will join again. We're going to start with a big um, strawberry shape down here. Draw it lightly with your pencil. <laughs> All right, draw it lightly with your pencil. When I say lightly, I don't even know if you can see mine. Oh, there you go. Do you see it? Here. I feel like you won't, oh, there. It's really faint, hey, if I, here, I gotta hold it up. Maybe I should turn off my light, hold on. Maybe you can see better. Can you see it? Ah, there you go, you can see it. All right, then we're gonna draw another kind of strawberry shape looking thing here. And then we're going to draw another strawberry shape looking thing. Maybe, I don't know, what shape does this look like? Avocado? <laughs> another one here. So you kind of have like a paw looking thing here. Don't worry, it's going to look nicer later. Hello. So for those who just joined, we started out with like four shapes here kind of looks like a paw right now but it will make more sense later and then i'm gonna draw another one up here kind of like a potato shape and another one here kind of like a i don't know i don't even know what shape this is anyways <laughs> another potato here maybe potato is a good one maybe i'll draw it bigger here and then i'm going to draw another potato Another potato and a teeny tiny one right here. All right. So now we have all these little potatoes and strawberries. What we're going to do is we're going to erase the lines that are overlapping. So we will erase this first one here. 
and then we're going to erase the second one. Also, people feel free to let me know if I'm going too fast. I tend to just like ramble along and just like forget about the world. So just let me know. Um, and feel free to turn on your favorite music. I don't have any right now because I'm teaching and I'm afraid that you can't hear me at all. All right, let's erase all these overlapping lines. Hi, Janina. Welcome, welcome. All right, now we have the super cute outline, pencil outline. Actually, yeah, forgot to erase that. Of our cactuses, we're going to go ahead and just, I, I don't know how light you guys drew, but I drew a bit darker because I want you guys to see it. But honestly, if I were to do this alone, I would draw it very, very, very light. Just because um, with watercolor, if you put watercolor over pencil marks, you cannot erase it anymore. So that's why I draw it like, usually would draw it very, very light. I know there are some kids who are going to be joining later, so I'm going to keep this child friendly. So if I accidentally say a swear word, just let me know. <laughs> All right. There we go. And today we need, um, honestly, I usually paint with just one brush, but um, yeah, so if you have more brush, that's pretty awesome, but I usually just need one. You don't really need a lot of material to create art, in my opinion. So, first things first, we're going to draw this big chunk right here. What we're Hi, Natalie. What we're going to do is we're going to start out with this kind of foresty green, but hey, if you want to do a pink cactus, you go ahead. You go ahead and be creative. You can do a blue cactus. You can do like an orange one. But I, for, for um, my sake here, I'm just going to do the green one for now. So what we're going to do, we're going to take some forest green paint. And we're going to outline the outside of this. So imagine the sunlight is hitting from this side. This side, yeah? So, oh, hi, cat. So the dark side would be here. So when we're drawing our cactus, all the darkness would be on the left side because my window is on the right side right now. So I'm gonna draw some like forest green here, outline my, my cactus. I'm gonna slowly add more water as I go. And I'm gonna take another shade of green, which is like more of like a, I don't even know, like plant green, maybe plant green, yeah. And I'm gonna like overlap here let the colors mix on its own. I'm going to use water to brush out any harsh lines I have here. And you're wondering what I do here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just outline this part like that. Don't worry, it'll all make sense in a bit. I'm going to keep taking my foresty green to put more here. And I'm going to take my plant green and just blend them together like this. Gotta take more of my, hi Arzu, hi everyone, new people who joined, yay. Thanks for being art, artsy and crafty with me on Saturday. I hope everyone's having a good day so far and that you had enjoyed the sun. All right. So for those who missed what happened, we basically drew the outline of the cactus and now we're working on the color. So we started um, the dark green on the left side and we're slowly, hi Francisca, and we're gonna slowly move towards this side, which in the end would be a light green. All right, so I'm gonna take myself some like lemon yellow. It doesn't look lemon yellow here because I don't really clean my palette, I'm very lazy. Hi Q. I'm gonna put some colors here. Oh, look at that. Look at this nice yellowy green. Love this green. Reminds of like, I don't know, a candy, like a lime candy. Look at this beautiful ombre. Love me some good ombre. All right. So now we have our first part of the cactus somewhat done. How's everyone doing? You guys got this part? Let me know if I'm going too fast. Oh, cute. Kind of looks like a face or a mango. 
or a leaf. Anyways, so just so you know, we're doing this part right now. And now we're going to move on to these guys here, these three big ones, three big potato looking ones. Sorry, I'm a bit sniffly um, allergies. All right, let's start with this one right here. Oh, yeah, Brenda, I yes, I am fast. Sorry, I'm going to take a break right now. I'm going to wait a little bit. Don't you worry. This is a live class, so I can definitely slow it down. Aileen, you're not too slow. I'm definitely too fast because I'm so used to painting. So I'm just going to like recap for those who join a bit later. We drew the uh, pencil outline of these cactuses. These ones, a pencil outline. And we start with this chunk. So we did a forest green on this side. And then you slowly put like a, another green here, like a lighter green, and then you use yellow in the end. And um, just keep blending it so it looks kind of like fading into each other, if you know what I mean. All right. Meanwhile, while everybody, I don't know how everyone's doing right now, but I'm just going to slowly start on the second one. So don't worry. Don't worry if you are, you know, not catching up. I'm just going to keep reiterating what I'm doing. Plus, we have to do like 10 more of these. So it's going to be the same thing over and over again. Yeah. So don't worry if you're slow. Just keep going. Everybody can go at their own pace. All right. Once again, I start with the dark green on one side. I love this green. This is kind of like, it's not even green, it's turquoise. Is it green? Yeah. And then I slowly put more green here. And hey, if there's too much water, you can always use um, Bounty or Ziwa, like paper towel. Um, Brenda says her paper is getting curvy. Don't worry, uh, it could be that, like my paper's also getting curvy. That's kind of normal for watercolor when we put, you know, a lot of water. What you can do right now is use some uh, paper towel, uh, paper towel to like dot the side of it to get rid of some water. By the end of your work, when it's dry, you can always put it in between books to get it flattened out again. Francisca, Francisca said the Wi-Fi in Deutsche Bahn is like really slow. I can't believe you're taking my class in Deutsche Bahn. I'm like so, this is like a very proud moment that someone is actually taking my class when they're on the go. You're such a hardworking person. Oh my goodness. I mean, Deutsche Bahn always promised like Wi-Fi, but I don't think it ever works, does it? All right, I'm going to put the yellow in the end here. Ugh, so cute. Where is everybody from? Mostly Germany, I would assume, or Hamburg. Hello. Oh, yeah, Laura, Spain. Um, I guess everyone's taking this at their home right now, uh, with exception of um, Francisca, who's on the train. <laughs> Spain, that's awesome. Stuttgart, yes, Hamburg. I'm based in Hamburg. Also, um, my boyfriend's mom, Maria, if she's here, I don't know if she set up her Instagram account yet. She said she wanted to join, but I don't think she's here. <laughs> Canada. Oh, are you too? Hi. Oh, Francisca just returned from Israel. How is it over there? Thanks for joining all the way in Hamburg from UK. Hi, Hannah. Oh, gosh. So many different places. Makes me happy. All right, so for those who joined, I know, I'm sorry guys, like I keep reiterating this, but it's just nicer if like people know what's going on. So we drew the pencil um, marks of all these shapes for those who are new. Um, and then we start with this big 
avocado looking thing. So we start with like the dark green on this side, light, uh, lighter green and yellow. And that's what we're going to do for the rest of the cactuses here. Ooh, and Hamburg from South Africa, so international. So as you can see, all of these ha follow the same rule. Dark green, lighter green, and yellow. Dark green, lighter green, and yellow. Imagine that the light is coming from this side where my brush is. So the light is on this side, the dark is on this side. Also, I, um, I always ask this, but can people like send me their after picture once they're done? <laughs> Cute, 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 cute. Once again, for those who are new, um, Instagram Live only allows us to do the video for one hour, like a live video, but um, I'm gonna try to keep it at one hour just because I'm sure everybody's hungry after, including myself. Uh, but if this extends over an hour, um, you can always I will, I will still host the live and you can always log back in and click on my um, live video again. It, I don't know why Instagram does this thing where they stop you. Ugh. But um, yeah, just to let you know. Sarah, don't be embarrassed. <laughs> Everybody has their own style of artwork. This is like therapy for me. I don't know about you guys. Thanks for keeping me entertained during this quarantine time and allowing me to teach you. <laughs> All right, how's everyone doing? Ooh, from Brazil. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Should I take a break, guys? Or we're, we're okay? I'm just going to stop at these three right now. Very therapeutic. Also, um, I wonder if any of you are actually playing music in the background. If you have any new playlists you can suggest. In my last watercolor class, I said I always play this one playlist called Van Life on Spotify. And that people are kind of getting tired of it at my workshops. But if you have any other suggestions, let me know. <laughs> Aileen said she's on her second potato. That's fine too. Also, I think... Um, I, I should maybe put a disclaimer, like for those who think um, they can't create art, that's wrong. Like you should just come without like um, preconception of what a good piece of artwork should be and, and maybe let go of your perfectionism and just like throw it out the window for now because this hour is all about just exploration, having fun, trying out different colors. So don't worry about it. This all comes in practice. Um, so, ooh, you're... I love lo-fi music. Lo-fi? Lo-fi? There's one called Lo-fi uh, lo Beats on Spotify. I listen to that at work. Uh, when I listen to that, it means that I have to concentrate. <laughs> All right. I'm going to move on to my other potatoes right now. But feel free to tell me to pause. Once again, I'm going to draw the darker side on the left. And I'm going to bring some water. Put some water and spread that darkness. Oh, that sounds so sad. Spread that darkness halfway through. I'm going to take my lighter paint, lighter green paint. And I'm going to dab this in the middle. You can see the change in color, right? And then right now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some of my lemon yellow here. I'm going to slowly dab it on the side here just to get that other shade of green. Ooh, Falscher Haza on SoundCloud. Good recommendation. All right. Then I'm going to move on to my potato, maybe this potato, this big one, so people can see better. All right, once again, dark side 
on the left. Dark forest color on the left. Use water to spread out the dark side. And then take your middle green, dab in the middle. I should make a song out of this. Like, I can't think of anything right now, but you know what I mean, right? And then I'm gonna take my lime yellow, dab it on the outside, dab it on the outside. There we go. Now I'm kind of leaving these like edges here so that if you look at it, you know, you see these lines, it's kind of like a separator between the potatoes. And also for those who just joined, by the way, you don't have to draw potato shapes. You can draw heart shapes. They'll be so, 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 so cute. Uh, you can draw like triangles. You can draw like square, uh, not squares. Yeah, maybe square, right? Not Picasso style this. Um, circles, you know, you don't have to draw this like cartoffle looking thing. And Sarah said she forgot the white lines. That's totally cool too. That's fine. You can always separate it with black paint later or white paint later. No problem. That's one thing so like versatile about art sometimes is that, you know, there, there are no really for me when it comes to art, there is no specific rules. Just because you miss one step doesn't mean that you're doing things wrong. At least in my classes. <laughs> I'm not sure for those who go to art school. <laughs> maybe there are things you c it can be done wrong but for me it's like it's just you know you're reflecting your personality on your art so all right how's everyone with their potatoes which potato are you on by the way <laughs> sorry i'm a bit sniffly <laughs> All right, I'm gonna move on to my other potato. Ooh, four potatoes, awesome. Fourth, yay. Yes, everyone's on four, that's great. You guys are kind of like in sync virtually. Ooh, sixth, awesome, Linda. You know, I have a question. When someone send a request to be in your live video, what does that mean? Wait, Sarah, you're done? You finished all these potatoes as well? Wow. Good for you. All right. <laughs> the last potato, awesome. Yeah, that's a that's a cool idea, Brenda. Yeah. Hi, Madeline. Just so you know, we are um we drew the outline of the cactus and then we start painting. <laughs> I start painting from the like the forest green on one side and then, um sorry the dark green on one side, middle green and light green on the other side. Sarah said she joined, she learned fast from my class last time. I'm sorry if I go fast. I should go slower. I should take my time. Take things slowly. You know what's so nice about drawing along with people is that normally when you come home from work, you know, when during the times when we're not in quarantine, when you come home from work, like you have the ambitious dream to like draw and like do art and stuff, which I hear from a lot of my, in a lot of my classes, but ultimately it's like doing it in a group thing really encourages you to actually do art, you know, because on your own, you, you might be lazy to set up your materials, you know, you might be too tired, you know, things come up, but that's what's so nice. Even now, like luckily we are able to do this live that you can do this in a 
group because I think it really helps. I don't know if you agree. There we go. I... Oh, thanks, Sarah. Yishi loves my online classes. Oh, I actually thought about doing more online classes because it's like therapy, really, honestly. All right, guys. Now we have this. We're going to wait for it to dry. Aileen said she has homework, but it can wait. <laughs> what homework? Wait, what? <laughs> homework? Actually, good for you. Good for you for continuous learning. Um, all right. So for those who have a heat gun or a hairdryer, you can always blow dry with this. But because we have two other artworks I want to show you, uh, let me know if I should start showing you the next one, which is this cute eucalyptus one. Because while we wait for this one to dry, we can start with this one. This one's really easy. I think most of you will like it. We just need to use our fingers and a paintbrush. Let me know. Just give me a thumbs up if you're ready to move on. Don't worry. We're going to come back to this one. We're just waiting for this one to dry. Just so you know. Can you even give a thumbs up on Instagram? Oh yeah, you can. Francisca says, yeah, yeah. All right, so great, everyone. We can, let's put this one aside, this like kind of, Kind of looks funny. It looks like, oh my god, it looks like a monster jumping to hug you. Don't you think so? Head, neck, and these like claws. Or like an alien. <laughs> it looks really funny. Anyways, all right, let's start with this guy. This is a eucalyptus. This is super fun. Like, I really enjoy this one. So, you're gonna get yourself a new piece of um, paper. And you might have to get your dirt, uh, fingers dirty, so just prepare some paper towel on the side. So for this eucalyptus, you're, when I do it, at first you're going to be like, what the hell? But you're going to love it. So you're going to dip your finger, no brush for this one, not needed, into water. And you're going to get yourself um, this green right here, not this forest green, but you can too. Be creative. You can do a pink one too. No problem, actually. Why am I limiting you? So this, this, like, green? I don't even know what, what this green is called. You're going to dab your finger in there. Oh, it feels nice. <laughs> and then you're going to, no joke, do some, like, is this brown? Dab some brown here. And you're going to go back to the green. Put some water here. And you're going to draw a circle here, like that. And you're going to draw one more down here, like super randomly. And maybe another one like here. You don't have to draw perfect circles. They're leaves, right? So leaves can be, you know, a bit crooked. I'm going to draw a little one down here. A little one down here. And just another one here. And another one here. And another two here. I like how the typing has stopped because like you're using your fingers. <laughs> All right. I love this one. This one's like one of my favorites. It's so simple and like so impressive at the same time. Imagine, imagine having this and here you said like, you, you do a postcard like this and said, I miss you, happy birthday, you're awesome, you're my favorite leaf, and then send it to someone, wouldn't they love it so much too? Well, I'd love it. <laughs> if you send me one, that would be great. Just imagine all the possibilities. All right. So you'd be wondering like, okay, this is just like random dots. But... 
All right, clean your fingers. I actually don't have a bounty with me. I like how I'm, I'm, advoc I'm advocating for paper towel and I don't even have any paper towel with me. So I'm gonna use my paper. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna connect all these dots. So you're gonna get yourself some brown. Good old brown. And then you can start from the bottom and you're gonna draw one line through like a really thin line. And don't worry if the brown goes into your green color. Hi Jazz, hi Larissa. Welcome to the club, the paint club, the cool kids club. All right, there, you have one line through. Oh yeah, Marika said a little break, a little break, yes. Thanks for letting me know. Very, very good. Hello, welcome. So we're on our second painting right now. Hi, Nicole. Um, the first one, what we did was this one, but we haven't finished. So we basically draw all these like shapes using pencil and um, different potato shape things and we're gonna wait till this dries and so that's why we're working on the second one right now so what we did here is that we had some like dark green and we put like um forest green here like a middle green and then some yellow and we use water to blend it and then everybody i believe has finished all the chunks and we're gonna wait till it dries and then we're gonna add little dots and flowers so that's why we're working on our second painting right now Second painting is eucalyptus, and we've been using our fingers, literally dip it into the green, into the brown with some water, and just like smudge it on your paper. Like dot, 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 smudge, smudge. And then we use brown and bring a stem through the middle. And now we're taking a break, or at least I'm taking a break, and while others are painting. And then we're going to move on to the next step. Is it clear? I guess so. Hope so. Wow, 30 of you made it. Thanks for coming, guys. Whoever is ready for the next step, simply give me a thumbs up. I will just slowly draw, don't worry. All right. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect, basically from here, this line, you're gonna connect all the stems. I'm gonna show you. So, connect. Connection number two. Oops, there. And then connection number three. Oh, that was a little bit too thick, but oh well. Number four. Number five. You get the point. <laughs> and then... I just love it. I don't know if you guys see it, but when I join the brown to the leaf, it like the brown just spreads as if it really connects to the leaf like this. Maybe that's a bit too much, but here, I love it. This is why I love watercolor because colors just like it really, you work so much with water, like the water brings so much texture to your painting. That sounds very, very poetic. And then lastly, we have this. So here we are, we have our awesome, cute eucalyptus plant, and you're more than welcome, of course, to add some texture by going into your green again and some water and just dabbing on the side like that, adding more texture to your leaves. All right. 
Brenda, I'm sure yours look great. <laughs> Don't worry. Everyone has their own style and it's just a matter also of practice, right? Ta-da! Just imagine like really putting happy birthday here or like uh, I miss you and send it to someone, you know, especially during like quarantine time when everyone's on social media. Sometimes it's really nice to receive something in the mail. Feel free to send these out. All right. So before we jump back into our cactus, we can always draw this one too. This one's really cute. We can draw this one because it doesn't need any dotting or anything. So we can draw this one first and then we're going to go back to our cactus. Let me know if that sounds good. I know it's something that's really, this kind of order is not something people are used to, but because we want to make sure the cactus is all dried before we jump back into it. Just let me know. Now for the new painting, you're going to need a new sheet of thick paper. Da -da. Hi, Jess. All right, I got some thumbs up. <laughs> I got some yasses. Yas. I love this one because you get to work with my favorite color ever, which is this blue right here. Well, you can do yours entirely orange too, but I'm just going to do mine with the blue that I love. <laughs> All right, ladies and gents, we're going to start with our last picture. But don't worry, we're going to go back to our first one. Okay, I'm going to get some of this awesome blue. I don't know what blue this is, but I hope you have in your kit. If you don't, just use any color you like. We're going to take some of this blue, some water, some more blue. And we're going to draw a line down like that. Oh, look at this beautiful color. I can't. Ugh. Looks more even more beautiful in camera. <laughs> Once you draw yourself a line, then you're going to draw the first leaf. So I'm going to ask you to quickly pause and just look at what I'm doing because this step people... Um, often would ask me to repeat. So I'm going to ask you guys to like, just pause a second and look at what I'm doing right here. So I'm going to take more blue. Yeah. Some water. I'm going to paint one side like that. One side of the leaf. Make sure the bottom is a bit like pointy like this. That's one side of the leaf. Then I'm going to do the other side of the leaf. Essentially, it's just two strokes. One, two. I'm going to do it again. Feel free to turn your paper like that. Okay, one more time. So one stroke down here. You're going to drag your brush on the paper and lift it up in the end to get this like pointy effect. One stroke here and another stroke here. Da -da. You got this? All right, it's your turn. In my next leaf, I'm feeling a bit fancy, so I'm going to mix some green with my favorite blue. Draw a stem. And then once again, drag your color. Drag that color here. There we go. Do you see a bit of like greenness here? Because I mix some green. Later, we're going to try and mix some like oranges and like brown to have like different effect. Oh, I love it. I just color my stem a bit because I like it darker. Bye, Francisca. See you next time. Thanks for joining all the way from the Deutsche Bahn. 
All right, and then I'm going to take myself some green because I want my leaf to be predominantly green for this one. And then I'm going to, once again, drag my brush and lift it. One stroke. Drag my brush and lift it. Second stroke. Oh, I kind of like this like gap here. I'm going to leave that gap here because it's pretty. I think in total, I think I'm going to draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe 14, 15 leaves. So feel free to experiment with color. I think I might just do some more green leaves. If anybody needs me to slow down, just like speak up. Don't worry. Drag that color there. Do it one more time. Drag there. This is one of my favorite painting motions is the drag and lift, drag and lift. It's just so therapeutic and it reminds me so much of like Chinese painting. So when I was younger, I had took like Chinese painting classes. Maybe that's why for me, it's like for watercolor, there's so much similarities. Maybe that's why it's like a bit easier for me to pick up the, the strokes. But after just some practice, everybody can do it too. Now for my big, like next leaf, I actually want to do a bit of brown because sometimes leaf dry, right? So I'm going to like maybe take myself a little bit of this like camel, camel color? Yeah, camel color. Maybe a bit of green. Maybe a bit more camel color. Oh, oops, dirtying my palette here. Oopsie. <laughs> and I'm going to do one stroke here. I'm gonna take some of my green and another stroke here. I'm gonna do some more camel color because I like that. Do you see the camel color? Yeah, you do. everyone okay everyone all good I'm pausing here so people can catch up all right and then we're gonna do another leaf here with my favorite blue again because I just love this blue I'm gonna maybe do some green one on the side here. Oops. And then maybe I'm gonna do a actual brownish yellow one here on the side, just for some colors. My brush is like really dirty, but that's okay because we're gonna be mixing colors anyways. Okay, I'm gonna do a yellow one here. Well, it didn't turn out yellow, but oh well. <laughs> oh, I love this color though, whatever this color is. All right, maybe a little, another one. Like a little yellow one here. I'm going to put some green on the top like that. We're going to dab some color like that here. Ugh, love it. Bring it down with some water. I'm kind of color co covering that yellow. Oops, whatever. Still looks good. <laughs> I'm gonna go really creative here. Tell me if it looks good though. <laughs> I'm gonna do a red. 
Oh, loving this red. It's like kind of like a fall red, not like bright red, but fall vibes. I'm gonna attempt to do another yellow leaf because I clearly didn't do one up there. Loving the yellow. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to a blue leaf. So as you can see, I started small leaf here and I, it slowly just kind of grew bigger. But of course, hey, everybody, you can, if you want to start big here and do small here, that's totally fine too. I'm gonna end my last big leaf here with green. I don't know about you guys, but like if you pause your music for a second and then like, bye Jessica. If you pause your music for a second and just like hear the sound of like you dragging your brush from one end to other, it's so relaxing. I mean, my voice right now doesn't sound relaxing, but just pause your music for a second and just hear how like your brush touches your um, paper. This sounds so satisfying. I don't know if you guys agree with me, but I'm going to do it again. Ugh, love it. And there we have it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do another leaf because I'm having so much fun. Um, just another little one here. there ah cute and you're always welcome to go back to your previous leaves and add more dimensions by dabbing color on the side like that just add a bit of darkness here there all right how's everyone doing Hope everyone's doing fine. It's like, you guys are all so quiet. I hope you're doing okay. I'm just like fanning my artwork here. What I'm gonna do, for those who are like done, um, I'm gonna get my hair dryer or heat gun and just dry up the rest of my cactus. And then we can start with that one. Eleven minutes. Oh gosh, time flies. You know what? Like, I think I might do it on Facebook Live instead because they don't have a time limit. Let me know if you prefer that, or like Zoom, uh, a Zoom Hangout meeting or something. But last time, Zo uh, Google Hangout didn't let me have more than ten people, so. Aileen doesn't have Facebook. Actually, some people don't have Instagram. Someone told, someone told me they don't have Instagram. Somebody told me they don't have Facebook. So it's like kind of difficult to find the middle ground. But I'm going to figure that out. I'm going to figure that out. And then we'll do one that's not limited to an hour. But once again, like I said, if this class has over exceeded an hour and Instagram Live stops you, 
you can just log back into like you can just click back into creative nights um live stories because i'm gonna restart the story or sorry restart the live hannah says her leaves are a dodgy shape on one side <laughs> what does that mean <laughs> kind of sounds funny Ooh, you mean like one side is like good and the other side is kind of funky? That's okay too. Creativity, your style, personality. So um, for those who are wondering, I don't know if you are, but this guy is like, um, a lot of people who do watercolor has it, but it's, you don't really have to have it. It's just like a, it's kind of like a blow dryer, but it doesn't blow as much air. So it blows more heat. So it doesn't blow away your paint. You can also still use a hair dryer at a distance. That's totally cool too. But this is just like more convenient for me, but it's totally extra. It's like luxury, <laughs> not luxury, but you know what I mean? You don't really have to have it. All right, guys, so here's our um, banana, it's not banana leaf, a type of plant, leaf drawing. And what we're going to do, we're going to go back to our first lovely cactus. And we're just going to put some uh, uh, finishing touches to this cactus. All right. So how we're going to put finishing touches is we're going to put these little dots. Um, where is my cactus drawing? <laughs> oh, there it is. These little dots. I don't know if you see it, but they're kind of like white dots. So that's what we're going to do in the last step and also the flowers. So you're going to get yourself some, a lot of white paint. Like just swivel your brush till you get some good amount on this paintbrush. Super easy. What you're going to do is just you're just going to dot. Honestly, just... Dot wherever you want. Do it random. Sometimes you can't really see the um, dots on the brighter, on the lighter side of things, but that's okay too. It's fine. You can just continue dotting. It, once you, once the, your artwork dries, you'll see it more. I promise. And don't think too much about where to dot. Just just go ahead and do it. Because I, I mean, I do have a lot of feedback when people are painting. They say they often think about it a lot before going into um, the painting. Oh, yeah. Aileen, use your white gel pen. You go ahead. You can also use silver. <gasps> Cute. Silver or gold. But, you know, often people are like saying that they think too much into doing their work or their art. That's why, you know, that's one of the main reasons why people stop doing art so when you're dotting this don't think about perfection just go for it and you know what there's always another piece of paper for you to paint on you can always do another cactus after this class maybe you can do one that's orange maybe you can do one that's round so don't you worry about it just like dot at your own pleasure <laughs> does that even make sense i hope that does Everyone can do art. You just gotta let go of perfectionism for a second. And eventually perfect, uh, perfect pictures in your own taste will come to you. <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this dotting process. For those who like came to my last class about like online, like the la landscape one, those of you know how much I love the dotting process. I don't know why, I find it very calming. How cute is this cactus? I can't. Just imagine framing this and giving it to someone. I don't know, cactus of like 
funny shape. Like, this makes me so happy. I don't know about you guys, but... All right. Oh, no, Linda. Your internet connection just broke down. Don't worry. We're just doing dots right now. Plus, this video, um, I think last time I wasn't able to save my video, unfortunately. Um, so I had to like download a new tool to save it. But I'm going to try to save this video and just like send it over to you. Or post it on my IGTV. <laughs> and then you can watch that part that you missed. All right, now that I'm done dotting, you don't have to dot everything. You can just dot the dark side too. I'm going to add those cute little flowers on the top here. As you can see, we have three top ones here. Just take your favorite red or pink or whatever color pleases you. It could also be a purple flower or a blue flower, no problem. Um, what I'm gonna do, or I'm gonna draw like kind of like three little triangle here. I shouldn't say triangle, but triangle looking things. There we go. Ah, how adorable. And then three, maybe I'll do four triangles for this one. Or like hearts. <gasps> hearts, that's cute. Maybe like there. There you go. And there we have it, guys. Our adorable cactus. This is like my favorite out of all of them. I don't know which one's your favorite. Let me know later. Um, this one's my favorite because it has a lot of dimensions and you get to exercise like different watercolor techniques. So what we learn is that we learned a lot how to blend the ombre effect, how to dot, and how to just draw simple shapes. Yay. I hope I didn't go too fast, but always feel free to let me know. Um, later, you can always DM me and tell me your feedback, like you wish it was slower, you wish we had more time, you know, just let me know. I'm more than happy to continuously improve and continuously to do these online workshops. And once again, of course, like, I already mentioned this before, this class is like donation based. And since, you know, ever since Corona hit, like a lot of small businesses are of course being affected, including Creative Nights. So any like donation that you feel it's worth it for this class, please feel free to go ahead. Um, if you just, you know, for you, it really depends on like what you think this class is worth. So it's up to you. Uh, but I've put my little PayPal here. <laughs> PayPal here, feel free um, to do so, but for me, like, as long as you enjoy the class, that for me is, it makes me really happy. And please send me your pictures. Please, I beg you, please send me your after pictures. I really would love to make a collage out of it. And Sarah, yours doesn't suck, so please send it to me as well. I'm sure yours is beautiful. And yeah, any questions, feel free to fire your questions. Isn't this cute? <laughs> the eyes are really funny. <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> Sarah, I'm sure your artwork is great. So feel free to fire any questions right now. I know Brenda, previously you said your paper is um, curling. What you can do is dry it and then put it in between a book, like two books, and then you're good to go. But it's quite normal that the paper curls up because of the water. Um, I'll put this down here just in case. And here you have it, guys. Feel free to always experiment with different colors on, like, you can always do this entirely pink, you know? Experiment, explore, that's what art is all about. <laughs> and this one, I love this one. Gracias, gracias, thanks, <laughs> thank you. I use actually aquarelle paper, 300 gram. Oh, gosh, live is making me stop. But I just want to say thank you so much for joining. Bye, guys. Have a good night.